Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Knockreiner, and on Tuesday, I'm talking about some new malware with some unique destructive capabilities. Cisco's Talus Research Group released a post about the Rombertic malware. On the surface, Rombertic looks pretty similar to most malware. It tends to arrive in a spear phishing email as an attachment that pretends to be a PDF but is really actually a screensaver file which can execute code on your computer. And if it does infect you, it's going to actually take some control of your browser so that it can steal information that you put in your browser like credentials and things like that. However, under the surface, Rombertic is very interesting and it's showing how malware is getting more sophisticated to evade both legacy and more modern defenses. Now, it's hard to talk about what Rombertic does without getting into the weeds, but essentially one way to catch malware nowadays is sandboxing or advanced threat protection, where rather than relying on a signature to detect malware, you actually put it in some sort of virtualized sandbox environment and you pay attention to the malware's behaviors to see what it does. Well, Rombertic uses many new and interesting methods that try to evade sandboxes. First of all, a big portion of uh, Rombertic's code is actually dedicated to benign images and legitimate looking functions that Rombertic actually never uses, but are placed there to make it harder for a sandbox system to recognize it as something bad. Another very common thing malware does to get past a sandbox is it knows that analysis systems can't wait for a long time. So malware tries to pretend to sleep or wait for a long period of time before actually doing something bad. Now many sandboxes like WatchGuard's own APT blocker through LastLine can detect many of these sleeping methods. Rombertic, however, while it does this sort of delayed waiting method, it does so in a really different fashion. It actually just does a worthless computation over and over again uh, for a period of time. But since it's actually doing something, uh, some sandboxes may not detect that as sleeping. But most important of all, once Rombertic really infects your computer, it does this one check where it basically checks the checksum or it checks the validity of a particular payload running on your computer. And if it detects something is off, perhaps because of an analysis environment, it gets very aggressive and it actually overwrites your hard drive's master boot record, basically making your computer unbootable and causing you to potentially lose data. And even if the malware doesn't have enough privilege to actually uh, erase your master boot record, it at least encrypts all the files on that particular computer, very much like ransomware would. So this is very destructive malware and quite interesting. Now, what can you do about this? Well, first of all, with any destructive malware, one of your biggest security tips is just a general best practice. Do you have a backup of your most important data? Obviously, you want to prevent malware from entering your network, but there is no guarantee in this life. So you should always have backups of your most important data. Now, another very useful tip is signature-based antivirus is not good at catching evasive malware. You need something that uses some sort of B behavioral analysis, things like advanced threat protection, such as what we provide at WatchGuard with APT Blocker. Now this malware is specifically designed to try to evade even sandboxes. This will always be a cat and mouse game, but sandboxing is going to be the only way to detect some of these behaviors and catch them. The final thing is to understand some of the subtle differences between network-based and host-based security. There are advanced threat protection or sandbox environments that run on your own computer. There are also sandboxes like our APT blocker that run on your network and intercept and analyze malware before it actually gets to your employees' computers. Now, if a sandbox were running on your user's computer and this file, Rombertic, got on their computer and it overwrote the master boot record, you've lost your computer. The good thing with network-based protection is we are running this file somewhere else. If Rombertic 
Amber Tick actually detected the analysis system on this network-based or cloud-based advanced threat protection system, that's the system that would be affected by the destruction, not your own personal computer. So that's just one pro in this case of network-based security controls over host-based security controls. So just to recap, be sure to back up. Make sure you don't just rely on signature-based AV. You need advanced threat protection. And finally, there's a lot of benefit in having both network and host-based security. That's it for today. Thank you for watching.